Keir Starmer faced a humiliating reality check as he was informed Tories still consider him more beatable than other Labour politicians despite the ongoing government crisis. Keir Starmer claimed this was a good week for Labour after Boris Johnson was forced into quitting No. 10 following an avalanche of resignations from his government. The Labour leader also saw the risk of having to resign himself evaporate after Durham police found no reason to fine him or deputy leader Angela Rayner over the Beergate row. But ITV News deputy political editor Onushka Ostona noted Conservatives still view him as more beatable than others regardless of Prime Minister Johnson's incumbent departure. Ms Ostona said, you see this as a good result. But Conservatives MPs tell me they see it as a good result, too. Because they think you are more beatable than some of your Labour colleagues. What do you say to that? The Labour leader however dismissed speculation about his chances and insisted Labour has now a belief it can establish the next British government. Sakia said, on the position of where we're at as the Labour Party, I've had no end of people telling me in 2020, when I took over the Labour Party, it was impossible to get from where we landed in 2019 to the prospect of a Labour government. I didn't believe it, we've pressed on, we've had really good local elections results. He continued, we had a fantastic swing in Wakefield, so I block out the noise, we plough on. If there was a general election, this government will fall, and we've got a plan for the country. The Prime Minister Thursday said he will resign when a new Conservative Party leader is selected, with more details on the timetable to be laid out next week by the Conservative Party's 1922 committee. Asked if he was pushing for a vote of no confidence next week to trigger a general election, the Labour leaders said, yes. He said, the duty is on the Conservative Party to do the right thing, and obviously there are meetings early next week with the 22 committee.